hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial on GitLab so this will be a continuation of GitLab CI CD tutorial for beginners so in this tutorial we are going to learn about GitLab CI CD for a Maven project so what we will uh, need as a requirement for this project like you know uh, if you're new to uh, CI CD a Maven project what we need to have it you need to have a GitLab account so if you don't know how to create please check my previous tutorial and you'll also need a Java project which will be used to build uh, using Maven and you also need a GitLab runner so you can use a specific runner or you can use shared runners in GitLab so in this tutorial we'll focus on shared runners so you you may not have to do a setup of runner yourself but we will see that in the upcoming tutorial as well but if you don't know how to set up GitLab runner you can check my previous tutorial which I will link into this video description and you also need to have an understanding on Maven lifecycle which I will also show you in the upcoming slides so you know you need to have understanding like what are the different lifecycle of Maven so when you build the pipeline you need to give which stage you want to deploy so also we will write the GitLab CI pipeline file which is uh, will be like dot GitLab hyphen CI dot YAML file uh, we will see how to write the complete uh, CI YAML file so so what we'll do in this uh, GitLab CI CD Maven uh, no project will be also using docker so we don't uh, set up Maven uh, to install on some runner and do that so what we will do is we'll use the docker uh, specific runner and we will uh, you know create a Maven build in docker uh, containers so to give some information about Maven lifecycle so these are some lifecycle stages in Maven like validate initiate I know there are a few like compile you know test uh, uh, test compile package you know verify install deploy so there are different uh, you know stages in um, you know Maven lifecycle so you can define which stages you want in your pipeline so we will see what we will do in our our tutorial so what we will do is we will do uh, you know using a Maven uh, image so we are going to use a docker image and we will create create a four stages one will be for build one will be for test and one will be for package and one will be for deploy so this will be four stages we will be creating in our pipeline and we will see how we know we can uh, run those pipelines so the maven can build and uh, the whole uh, source will be created so also what we will also see in this tutorial like uh, you know how to cache so we'll also see how caching mechanism happen in gitlab so we will uh, cache dot m2 repository which where the maven files will be stored and also the target folder where once you build or uh, package your application or install it you will have a you know jar or war file which will be saved under the target folder so this caching will help us to increase your speeding up the whole process of your pipeline so we will see all those things in the you know actual demo so before I get into the actual demo process, I would request you like if you're new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel, click on the subscribe button. Also like my videos, share and comment. So I'm in uh, GitLab and you can see I have a Java project. Okay, so there is a source file and you have, you know, a pom.xml. So, uh, you know, if you don't know how to set up all those things, then you have to learn uh, pom, uh, no docker xml, how is that written, how the Java project works. So, uh, but you can use this project, you know, for your uh, testing. So I will give this link into the video description so you can uh, go and have a look there. So now we don't have this uh, dot uh, gitlab hyphen uh, ci dot yaml file, which we will create. So before that, I just want to show you a basic, uh, you know, uh, gitlab hyphen ci dot yaml file, which we are going to use. So we are going to start with image and we are going to use the Maven image for this tutorial. So because this is a Java project and we are going to uh, build your project using Maven. So rather than using installing Maven on your machine and you know using that runner, I'm going to use a Docker container. So you are going to use Maven uh, image to create a container. And as I mentioned in the previous slides, I'm going to have a four stages. So we have spoke about stages and job in uh, GitLab uh, CI pipeline, right? So we are going to define four stages and each job so uh, will be mapped to some uh, stage. So, you know, you can have multiple jobs also in the same stage. So here I'm going to use build job and I'm going to use the stages build. 
and uh, what this tag refers is like this tag is to inform uh, GitLab CI to run this job on a runner which is having a tag docker so in uh, runners you can have uh, when you create runners you can tag them with some keywords like docker or maven or you know shell so you can define this job has to be running on this uh, you know um, runner so I'm defining it as a docker so I want some runners which have a docker uh, install so I'm going to tag it like that and you know uh, I'm going to give a message uh, that this is not a mandatory but just for uh, information I put like uh, maven compile started and the build stage I'm going to run my mvn compile so mvm is the maven command and the compile is the uh, life cycle stage so that's what I show you like different life cycle is there so build I'm going to compile it and in the test uh, job I'm going to use test stage and again the tag is docker and the script I'm going to run mvn test so here I'm going to run the test lifecycle of uh, maven and the package you know I'm going to use uh, package stage and here I'm going to run a mvn package so when you do a mvn package you will have a jar file uh, which will be created and it will be saved under your uh, rep repository target folder okay so in order to deploy you need to have some kind of method like you need to deploy it to your artifactory or some location so in our case we are not going to see that deployment site so because of that I just created a job as deploy and I'm just going to print a message along so we will see about this how to deploy your uh, you know, uh, jar file or maven uh, things into an artifactory repository or something in the upcoming tutorial so this one I want to start as a basic where you can create different life cycle as a stages of uh, Maven now uh, in order to enhance this one I have also updated some other uh, you know uh, parameter as well so I'm going to do is I'm going to set a variable called uh, Maven OPTS and this will be you know, the local repository which will be .m2 repository right so I want to back up this repository so because of that I have to set this variable and I'm going to use cache so cache means I'm going to cache this uh, path into you know, some uh, repository since we are running shared runners it will be saved under some Google Cloud or some default GitLab uh, repositories so uh, we are going to set uh, the path which has to be cached is .m2 repository and also the target where your jar file will be saved so the benefit as I mentioned like it will speed up the process so it can call up this uh, repository in the next job so once you run the build if there are this can be used for other job and other job as well so the rest of the part is going to be same so what we have added is we have added the cache and also we have added uh, the variables for that so if you don't have this variable set uh, where it is mentioned as local repo is m2 repository this uh, caching will not work so let me just copy this okay and I will uh, create a new file here and I'm going to call this as dot uh, gitlab and uh, see whatever we are uh, going to put you can also see the you know, uh, template if you search for maven so let's search for maven so you can also select some template from here so you can see the default uh, gitlab template you see it, it gives you some variables set here right so you, it's using some image uh, maven I'm using latest image you can see it's also has cached uh, m2 repository it's using uh, some stage called uh, verify uh, sorry stage for test and it's going to do uh, the you know uh, life cycle like uh, mvn verify and uh, I think it's deploy you can see it's deploying uh, something uh, to some location so it's uh, using you know to gitlab some repository so you can read through that as well but in our case we are going to delete this okay and we are going to apply this um, pipeline CI pipeline in you know, a job uh, we just written okay so there are different stages and different jobs so let's just uh, commit that so let me go and uh, commit so once you commit you should have you know a pipeline uh, started so you can see the pipeline has started so you can just click on it and you can check if you click on the job it should be showing the details what it's running so now it's uh, preparing the docker you know uh, environment you can see this tag called docker so this is running on a you know runner uh, which is having tagged with docker you can see that this job has completed so if I go to the top 
you can see it has completed the whole process of uh, maven right compile started and it started uh, mvn compile right so uh, that's the message so you can see it has done the complete process of uh, mvn compile and you can also see it has created a cache for m2 repository and if you see target also it has uh, created right so and it's saved under uh, some google storage dot google api right so that's how it is done uh, for uh, the first stage let's see for how it's happening so you can see the other stages are running now so let's so now the test job is also completed so let's go to the package job now you can see it's uh, waiting for the package job to run maybe we can just go back to our pipeline and let me go to the test job it's passed right so you can click on that now if you go to the top you can see now you know the first uh, steps it's doing like it's uh, downloading the cache so the first uh, in stage you know what uh, job we have created a cache for uh, m2 repository and also the target right so it is uh, copying those things now for this job so you can run see it's run the mvn test and you know you can see it has uh, done the whole process here you can see build success right uh, so that's all you know uh, for that job so let's see what it happens for whole pipeline now so you can see we are in the deploy stage the package is also passed so you can check the package job you can see it has uh, updated that as well so you can see building jar right so it has created the jar file and it's under the target folder so you can see this one is also completed now you can see the whole uh, pipeline is passed so you can see whole uh, job you can see uh, build task package deploy all jobs are completed so we have four jobs right it's all running on uh, uh, docker right and it's running on different uh, actually runners right i think sure so let's see it's, it's also to show you like how much time it has taken to run and you know so that's all i think uh, from this pipeline section so if you want to edit you can go to editor and you can make some edit here for the ci file you can see the jobs alone here you can see the schedules we don't have a schedule test cases right so you can see all this information from here so uh just to give you a recap like you know this is the let me go to the editor so this will be your uh, gitlab hyphen uh, ci.yml file so you can uh, if you're looking for a pipeline file for a maven uh, project using docker containers this would be the best if you don't want to use docker container you can remove this uh, section because i'm setting a default image maven and you can build this but you should have maven and other components installed on your uh, runner okay so that should be the whole uh, process so that is all for this tutorial so i hope uh, it's an informative tutorial for you so if you are uh, new to my channel or if you have not subscribed and if you want to watch more uh, tutorial from my channel kindly click on the subscribe button also like my videos share and uh, give your feedback so thank you for watching